Hi, Logan from Legendary Strength here, and the question of the day is how much protein do you need? It's something of a complex question depending on who you ask. There's answers all over the place. Uh, I'm going to take a little of a different uh, look at this than you might see for most people. Now, if you look at the metabolic typing diet at all, this is a useful starting point for most people. Uh, they have three different types of people. Uh, the carb people, the mixed people, and the protein, usually it's called protein, but I'm going to say protein fat people. This is not that you can only eat carbs or only protein fat, but a, a majority of the foods, the um, macronutrients that you have will come from these different areas. So if you are a protein fat person, you need more protein. That is a much better fuel for your body. For the carb people, they can do 60-80% carbs and it seems to work out fine for them. Uh, but if you're a carb person and you do a whole bunch of protein fat, you're going to feel like crap uh, and vice versa. And not only are you going to feel bad, but it's going to lead to health issues for you. Um, so there are people all over this spectrum, and it's not just exactly here, there's uh, some room in between. For me, I'd, I'd really say I'm a mixed person, and I might lean a little more toward the protein and fat. I just find that this is a better fuel source for me than if I do too many carbs. I feel a little out of it if I go overboard in this area. So figure out where you are here. This is going to determine really how much protein you actually need. Now how much does the body need to survive? Um, I've heard different numbers but something around 30 grams is sort of a general consensus. The body really doesn't need all that much protein in order to survive. I've even heard like 15-20 grams uh, on a daily basis it can work with that because the body can actually uh, recycle amino acids and everything within it. Now it's sort of an average number that people will say is good once again, it's really going to depend on this stuff, is 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Uh, with bodybuilders, they go up to something like 2 grams. Uh, definitely 1 gram is in there, but 2 grams per pound of body weight. And they go overboard with this. Now, protein is a process in the body differently than carbs are and differently than fat is. And it's going to determine, or really depend on these things as well. Protein is not as much of a fuel source. It doesn't work nearly as well as carbs or fat typically. It can certainly be used in that it can be converted in the liver uh, via gluconeogenesis, if I got that term off the top of my head correct, in order to provide fuel for the body. But that's not really what it's uh, meant to be able to do. So how much protein do you need? That also d depends on your goals. Are you trying to lose fat? Then generally, because I'd say the USDA food pyramid for instance you have this and the whole base is carbs down here so uh, most people are getting too many carbs because not not a lot of people are actually over here in this carb I'd say there's mo more people over in these two areas so it's actually way too much carbs so for the majority of people by upping the amount of protein you're gonna feel better because it's actually better suited to where you're at and it's gonna help you to lose fat to do so because you're having more protein, you're going to have to cut down the carbs just because people generally eat about the same sort of quantity of food each day. So we got too many carbs over here from both the grains as well as fruit and vegetables, and those are all different forms of carbs, definitely some better than the others. So by increasing the protein that you take, you're going to tend to do better for most people. It's the same thing if you're trying to gain muscle mass. Do you need a whole bunch of protein? No, they're really just trying to sell you protein powders, and I, I do consume protein powders myself. I like to blend them up in shakes with other things mixed with fat, mixed with carbs uh, generally. So I do protein powders, and there are some great ones out there. There's even some uh, health benefits, for instance, with a good quality way, if that works for you. But do you really need all this much? Uh, no, your training is going to take care of it, but once again, more protein, more fat is going to work for a lot of people as opposed to all the carbs in there. If you're just trying to consume a whole bunch more food, you really want to stay within the ratios that work for your body. So I hope this gives you some ideas on where you should be with protein. Uh, it doesn't need to be over-consumed really regardless of your goal, but many people do find by increasing what they take protein-wise, it is going to help them out. So those protein powders can definitely help you out. 
if you get good quality sources of that just by increasing this ratio if you're one of these people. If you happen to be over here, then adding additional protein may not work well for you. Some people seem to get by well with 80% carbs, 10% fat, 10% protein. Uh, it scares me to think of myself doing that <laughs> just because it wouldn't work well for me and it doesn't work for most people. That's maybe 10% of the population. But you really do need to find where you are at here. Find out what works for you. Then you can answer this question for yourself.